Hi, everyone. Welcome to week 12 of Nutrition Bites. So today we are going to be talking about how to make whole foods plant-based smoothies. So that's what the WFPB stands for, whole food plant-based smoothies. All right, so we'll talk about the ingredients of this specific recipe. Then I'll talk about some tips for making better smoothies. Uh, then I'll share a smoothie blueprint that I love to use. Uh, we'll also talk about prepping, uh, prepping ahead smoothies. And then I'll share some extra recipes and then the weekly challenge. Okay, so this is a recipe for a berry protein smoothie made out of all whole food plant-based ingredients. So the idea here is to create smoothies um, without using protein powders or other powders, things like that. And not that this is bad, but the idea here is just to try to use as much uh, whole foods as possible. So here we have soy milk, water, blueberries, kale, bananas, frozen peas, chia seeds, peanut butter, and dates. And so this smoothie actually has quite a bit of protein from uh, these plant foods, such as the peas, the chia seeds, peanut butter, and soy milk. All right, so here are some of my top tips for making better smoothies. Um, First, I'll just say I love a good fruit smoothie, but smoothies are a really great way to include vegetables or other things that you may not eat as much during the week. So smoothies is a great chance to kind of include those in your diet. Um, so some tips for making better smoothies. If you can, I would recommend investing in a good blender if this is possible for you. Um, this will really help to make the consistency and have it blend uh, a lot better. Um, another tip is to use frozen fruit and frozen vegetables. So instead of doing fresh fruits and vegetables and then adding an ice, I recommend freezing everything that you're putting in there. And so you can skip the ice cubes and you're going to have a much thicker, more nutrient dense smoothie. Uh, I also like to use greens in my smoothies, but again, I recommend freezing these ahead of time. So if you're doing kale or spinach or collard greens, things like that, I recommend just tearing them up into small pieces and freezing them. Uh, and then I find that when I put them in my smoothie frozen and blend it, you don't taste that green, as, that green flavor doesn't come through as strongly as if it were fresh. Um, again, so because we're using frozen fruits and vegetables, this allows you to skip the ice cubes and it makes for a much less watery smoothie. Uh, if you want to make your smoothie extra creamy, you can add things like avocado or silken tofu or even coconut cream uh, to your smoothie. Uh, and then I love to add spices like cinnamon or turmeric. This really helps to like boost the flavor on your smoothie. And then one of my favorite ingredients to use is frozen bananas. And this is great because it acts as a thickener um, and a natural sweetener. So rather than trying to add honey or sugar or maple syrup, a banana that can actually really help to make the smoothie a lot sweeter. And then lastly, I just recommend to switch up the greens and the veggies and the fruits that you're using to give yourself variety rather than having the same recipe every time, just to give yourself a more variety of uh, foods and nutrients. Okay, so this is a smoothie blueprint that I like to use. And so it's kind of just some general guidelines uh, for the different categories of a smoothie. So we have liquids, protein and fat, frozen fruit, frozen vegetables, and then add-ons. So this is again a whole foods plant-based smoothie. So we're avoiding protein powders or other um, powders in the smoothie. So we're using all whole foods. Um, so these are just uh, some, cat uh, some suggestions for the different categories. Um, and then there's different serving size recommendations depending on which ones you're using. So about two cups of liquid, one to four tablespoons of fat, again, depending on which ones you choose. Frozen fruit, I like to use half a cup to a whole cup. Frozen veggies, a quarter cup to a half a cup, again, just depending on which ones you're using. And then any add-ons for flavor or other nutrient boosts. All right, and these are some extra recipes that I will be linking in the article version of this. Uh, so a green apple cinnamon smoothie, an orange cream smoothie, and a red velvet smoothie. Again, these are all whole foods, plant-based smoothies. Absolutely delicious and helps to get you a wide variety of different fruits and vegetables, as you can see by the colors of the smoothies. Okay, lastly, I want to talk about prep ahead smoothies. So smoothies in general are a pretty easy, um, quick thing to make, but sometimes we can use even those extra five minutes in the morning. And so one way to do this is to prep your smoothies ahead of time. 
So the idea here is to measure out all of the ingredients into bags or containers and store it in the freezer. So what you do is you take a bag or you can use a mason jar or other uh, container and you include any and all of the solid ingredients. So this would be your fruit, your veggies, your greens, seeds. If you are adding any powders, anything like that, you put in the container or the bag. So then when you're ready to make the smoothie, all you do is grab the bag out of the freezer, dump it into the blender, and then pour whatever liquid you decide to, whether it's water or coffee or tea or milk, um, you would just pour the right amount um, into the blender and blend it. So this saves that much extra time and it makes it easy to meal prep. You do that uh, on the weekends or something for your busy week. Absolutely a great way to kind of streamline your mornings. All right, so the weekly challenge for this week, I want to encourage you to mix up your morning and drink a green smoothie for breakfast twice this week. So if you're not sure on what to do, go ahead and check out this uh, blueprint and you can just mix any of these combos and see if you come up with something you like but the the challenge is for a green smoothie so see what you can add into it to make it green and that's all i have for you guys this week thank you so much and i will see you next week